Now that I am more settled in the um, parks line, uh, some updates about the live action. Um, okay, so uh, they started with Marvel, which was pretty awesome. Um, people were pretty excited about that. They talked about um, how they just ended phase two of the uh, Marvel series, so they're starting phase three, which the first will be Doctor Strange, which of course has Benedict, Benedict Cumberbatch in it, which is... Uh, I, awesome because he's fantastic um so um he is um of course in london doing hamlet um which all my theater geeks know so he uh did a video greeting talking about the film and then they showed some of the artwork which um truly does look spectacular um and then they went on um to talk about captain america civil war uh which the crowd went insane about of course and um introduced anthony wilson um the falcon um, who then introduced um, the incomparable Chris Evans, um, who came out and talked to everybody about the film, which um, was pretty fantastic. They're still in the middle of filming right now, so um, it was pretty great seeing, seeing him. Um, one of the most interesting things um, when they started talking about the Walt Disney um, live actions is um, the Jungle Book kind of seemed to take people by surprise how fantastic it looks. Um, they introduced the young boy um, who's playing Mowgli, um, who was very endearing and very cute, of course, he's only 11. Um, and then they also introduced um, Ben Kingsley, who is um, portraying Bagheera, and Lapita Nyong'o, which I was very excited about, um, who's playing the um, Raksha, the, the mother um, wolf character. Um, and then they showed some footage from it, and it really looked spectacular. Um, they, uh, they showed a little clip of um, Baloo, and uh, he's singing Bare Necessities, which people seemed very excited about. So that was pretty cool. Um, one thing I didn't know about it, and maybe it's already been announced, but Christopher Walken's playing King Louie, which, you know, Christopher Walken pretty much sounds exactly like Christopher Walken, no matter what he does. So that was kind of funny. Um, Next, they talked about Alice in Wonderland um, through the Looking Glass, and um, Mia um, Wasikowski, um, Alice, came out to talk a little bit about her role in the new film. Um, Sasha Baron Cohen is in the cast playing Time, um, and it kind of um, takes place during different points in Wonderland's history, so you're seeing um, characters at different points in their lives, which is kind of cool. Um, then they talked about Pete's Dragon. Uh, people know my opinion about them remaking Pete's Dragon. I'm not really thrilled about it. Um, I do love Bryce Dallas Howard, and they introduced her, which is pretty exciting to see her um, in person. Um, and they explained that it's um, set in the Pacific Northwest. Another thing that I, I, it's such an iconic film and set in such an iconic location. Um, so it's kind of sad to lose that, um, that Northeast, um, uh, Atlantic vibe about the movie, but um, it uh, takes place Pacific North Northwest. But Bryce Dallas Howard plays a character named Grace, who is a park ranger, finds a little boy who's been living in the woods for six years, and um, Robert Redford. They never said who he plays, but I'm assuming it's um, her father. Um, kind of take in this boy and learn a little bit about him, um, and of course his uh, friends, the dragon, which we saw the tiniest little glimpse of Elliot, um, really not even a glimpse, um, it just showed um, his fur, which <laughs> I don't remember Elliot necessarily being a furry creature, but okay, uh, we'll go with it, and um, so it should be interesting to see how it is. Uh, I'm still not sold on it, even after seeing that. I, I'm a little sad that they're remaking it, but we're going to go with it. Uh, they talked a little bit of, um, about the Queen of Katwe, which is about a, a Ugandan girl who learns um, to play chess. Um, and it stars, again, Luke Peter Nyong'o, who came out to talk a little bit about it and filming in Africa, and um, that was pretty neat. Um, they talked about Beauty and the Beast, um, which is still in filming, so none of the cast was able to be here, which I was kind of bummed about. Um, but Emma Watson did do um, a little clip talking about the film, and then Josh Gad um, also talked about it, which was great. Did a little, um, a little, no one like guest on, um, so that was pretty cool. And then they talked about Pirates um, of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales. Um, and announced officially that Will Turner, played by Orlando Bloom, will be coming back um, 
to reprise his role, so people kind of went insane with that, and um, introduced uh, the um, amazing Johnny Depp um, coming out as Jack Sparrow himself. So seeing him in his character was pretty spectacular. He was throwing grapes at the audience. So there you go. I don't know. Uh, but he's hilarious, and it was fun to see him. Um, one kind of cool and random moment was um, Alan Horn talking about uh, casting Emma Watson in Harry Potter. So the Potter geek in me kind of was really excited about that, Little Potter and Disney. So um, that was pretty neat. And then they went on to talk about Lucasfilm. Um, kind of gave the timeline. We've all seen that. Um, we do know in, um, let's see, I think it's 2017, Rogue One comes out. They explained a little bit about that. It takes place prior to episode four, New Hope. Um, and is about a rogue team trying to um, steal the plans of the Death Star, so interesting. Um, and then they talked about how in 2018 there will be another Star Wars story movie, um, and it will be a Han Solo origin story, so that's kind of cool. Uh, and then they introduced J.J. Abrams, who came out to talk a little bit about uh, the, the Force Awakens, um, the new Star Wars film, of course, and introduced some of the cast, which also, oddly enough, included Lupita Nyong'o, uh, so she came back out again, um, and then they introduced Harrison Ford, so that was incredibly exciting, uh, seeing him in person. Um, so talked a little bit about that. They were, they, they kept their promise. We got no new uh, Star Wars trailer, which um, we, you know, of course, knew was going to happen, but still disappointing not to see any new footage from it. Um, but one thing we did get is an exclusive D23 poster, which is pretty cool. We also got the first look at the Jungle Book poster, which is pretty spectacular. Um, and then they surprised everybody. And the parts presentation, of course, is coming up in a few hours. Uh, but instead of announcing what was happening at Hollywood Studios at parts presentation, they announced it here during Star Wars. So. We now know that Star Wars is coming to Hollywood Studios and to Disneyland. It's going to be a 14-acre um, uh, new land, um, totally immersive. Um, they did explain, um, the, Bob Iger was the one who came out and explained everything. Um, they explained that the, the cast members will all be part of the Star Wars mythology. No, nothing will be out of place. If you're in the cantina, it's cantina workers. If you're in a shop, it's it's P Star Wars, you know, canon characters. So everything will be 100% Star Wars. Um, they did say that there will, will be two e-ticket attractions and that one of them will be um, a Millennium Falcon uh, attraction, which is pretty exciting. People kind of went insane over that. Um, and that there will be there will be a cantina, um, which of course we've all been anticipating. So we now know what's going on with Hollywood Studios, and with all that new um, acreage that they just purchased in Disneyland, um, there is Star Wars Land coming. So um, we will be learning more about what that's like for the parks presentation. So in a few hours, hopefully, I think we're allowed to have cameras in there in that one. So we'll see. I'll post um, if we do. If not, I'll let you know what's going on afterwards. Uh, oh my goodness, I think that's it. I'm exhausted. I'm going to just sit for a while. I hope you guys are having a good day. I know I am. See you later.